Hi guys, Micro here. This is my free to play by the way series and this is episode 5. In this episode I get my first level 90 stats and I get the cremation ability and show that off. So let's get right into it. Hey, starting today off with 60 woodcutting. God, that took a while. This is a really cool little tip. If you're doing fire making, you can put your logs on number three on your action bar, which automatically allows you to press it and open up the interface. And number three adds it to the bonfire. So if you just hold down three, it will automatically craft and chuck it on the bonfire. Then you can just let go of three, AFK, come back to it, repeat the process. It's pretty damn nice. Hey, I managed to hit 85 fletching, so that is magic shield bows unlocked. I'm currently stringing my magic short bows. They are 1000 GP each, and the ingredients to make them, the bowstring and the short bow, are like 750 GP. So it's a decent amount of GP made every single time, it's like 300 GP. And I'm also making them from the logs, which are even cheaper than the short bows unstrung. So I'm probably making about 350 GP or something for a full completion. But as it currently stands, I have 4,600 more unstrung short bows that I'm going to string. And I've already strung nearly 5k. I have 20,000 more magic logs and 21,000 new logs that I've been using for fire making. As I mentioned before on a previous episode, I was using the U logs for fire making whenever there was a Brazier down and no Fletcher. Whereas if there's a Fletcher, I will always do short bows, or if there's an Eva, I will continue doing the short bows. All in all, I think this is going to be a really fun thing to do and track how much money I make along the way. What I may even do is try and make a bulk amount of money so I can literally just stock up all of the bows I've made all of the way to 99. The way I can make some money is if I do some mining or something in between, I should be able to make a decent amount of money with that. Or continue doing some amulets or necklaces with crafting. And if I can make a giant tab of loot from Fletching, it could be pretty damn cool. I really didn't expect that. Someone dropped a Kebit Burrow Divine Location. I'd done it, got 500 like nearly instantly, and 1000 total level. That is really awesome. These 3000 Rune Stone Sritz will net me a profit of about 460 GP and an ore. So every time one of these procs is 460 GP, that's just awesome to me, and it's 100% worth it. Now it's time to go mine like 6000 Rune Knight ore. Okay, so we've used all of our stone spirits. Now that we've used all of our stone spirits, we're going to go see how much runite ore we've mined. We're also 75, 65k away from 76 mining. We have 6,375 runite ore to sell now. That's going to be a decent amount of money. We've been mining literally for the past two days. So that's quite a lot of, you know, AFK time. We've been doing stuff on our main. We've been working on some guides and stuff. So we just AFK mine for the most part. Let's go see how much money we can make. There is 8.3 mil. We spent 2.2 on the stone spirits, which means we made about 6.2 mil profit. Absolutely fantastic. Now we're going to spend some of that profit on more fletching to get those further towards 99. Back we go to do some fletching, may even be able to reach like 90 or something. I was testing out some different crafting methods for a video and I managed to get 63 crafting. I'm just going to be making some necklaces and stuff. Might get to 64 crafting and then that will probably be all that I get to from this. Then it'll be back to fletching. I will link this jewelry guide in the description of this video if you want more info on how much money and XP you can get from making necklaces in free to play. That is a lovely milestone. My first ever level 90 on this account. We got 90 fletching coming in. We've got 5.3 mil experience in Fletching and it's getting a bit slow so we may work on a couple of other skills and then come back to Fletching on double XP. Free to play accounts get 1.2 times experience. So they get 20% more experience on double XP weekend. 20% more XP in Fletching could be really really nice and I might do that. May have to go do some fishing and some smithing and get out my lower skills. Oh wow, um, I didn't expect that. I put two small celebration lamps into my skills. 
I was nearly level 5 Herblord, nearly level 5 Summoning. So those two leveled up. And I also am level 3 Construction and Slayer now. So at this point, I only need two levels in Slayer and two levels in Construction. Then I'm maxing all of the member skills to level 5. Not bad at all. Thank you, Celebration Lamps, I guess. There is 88 fire making and we're 91 fletching now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go do some fishing. We're 55 fishing, so we've got so much of that to do. Let's go AFK, some fly fishing, get out to at least 60, then move to a different skill. If I can get like 60 plus in all of my free-to-play skills, I'd be very, very happy with that progress. Combats and Dungeoneering are probably the ones that are going to take me the longest. When it comes to fishing, now that we're 70 cooking and, you know, we don't really need the trout and salmon, I've just stuck them on my action bar on number one and number two. That allows you to press number one and number two to just drop them and you continue fishing without having to click or anything. So I'm just dropping them as I fish for some more XP. Hopefully get 60 in a pretty decent time. May even go further depending on if I want to move to a different skill or not. It's pretty chill, pretty AFK. You kind of just look back, drop everything in the inventory, and then go back to AFK. And if I was ever going to go back to cooking, I'd probably cook lobsters anyway. So no point in worrying about these trout and salmon. There is 60 fishing coming in. We're going to continue fishing for a little while. We haven't been doing it too long. We've got plenty more time to level it up. Again, we're just fishing salmon and trout and dropping it with our action bar. Makes it nice and chill, to be honest. There is 69 fishing. I'm going to keep it at 69 because there's a good number. And I'm going to go and do some smithing. I'm going to smith some rune plate bodies and see if I can make like burial armor. I really want to test how quick I can get my smithing up by spending a bit of GP. My goodness, these rune bars, if I was gonna make rune plate bodies plus three, I'd lose 60k a plate body. Rune bars are super expensive right now just because of Elder Rune and stuff. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna buy like 20 rune plate bodies plus three. I'm gonna destroy them and use them for burial armor. Gonna cost me a couple of mil, but I really wanna see just how much Smith and XP I can get. If I'm paying 63k a play body, the GP per XP isn't going to be too bad. The base XP it gives is nearly 5k, and I'm level 52. So if I do a couple of burial play bodies, that'll give me a level. It should be pretty good. Let's see. We have 21 room play bodies plus three. This costs us just under one and a half mil. We're starting at 125k Smith and XP, level 52. Let's see how far 1.5 mil can get us. Just going to smith the burial plate bodies over and over and over again. I'll just get all of my heat. Then once all of my heat is done, we'll just smith these away. Making sure to top up our heat whenever we hit 66% to make sure we get as much XP as possible. It's crazy though. It's so much XP. 54 XP drops at this low of a level is really nice. Pretty damn nuts. If we look at our experience an hour at the top right here, we're getting 135k experience an hour. It's going anywhere between like 135 to 140k, which is just insane to me, considering that's more XP than I have in this skill total. And I can get that in one hour. Okay, it's costing me money, but Jesus, it's quick. There we go. 50 eight smithing we gained 100k xp from our one and a half mil as well that's not too bad in my opinion obviously it's fairly expensive and there would be cheaper ways of doing it but i'm happy with 58 i'm happy testing that out now we're gonna go and do something else probably gonna go do a little bit more wood cutting as 60 is fairly low wood cutting is taking absolutely ages i'm level 61 now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go make some urns or buy some urns or something i need to speed up these wood cutting gains somehow willows are so slow okay so urn prices seem to be really really weird it costs about 1.4k for an urn to be made a strong mining urn doesn't buy for 3k, so it may be worth making those yourselves. Fishing urns don't buy for 2k each either, so these could also be something that's decent to make yourself. But then when I go onto my sales history, for some reason woodcutting urns are selling at 1.3k each, which is a loss. 
Cooking earns the Senate at 1.16, and Runecrafting earns the Senate at 1.15. All of these are a loss. The others are a slight profit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy the cooking urns, the runecrafting urns, and the woodcutting urns, probably buy like 400 of each as, you know, they're cheaper, stock up on those urns. Then I'm going to make some of my own strong mining urns just to test some money making and then make some for myself when I go back to mining. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make strong mining urns for myself and I'll test how long they take to make and how much money I can make with them and stuff. I know firing takes longer than the actual like spinning them on the clay wheel. So I guess time will tell how long it will take. I believe you can make around 650 to 700 urns an hour that includes spinning them and firing them. This should give you a good amount of GP an hour with the strong mining urns. The other urns not so much. And obviously if you're a member decorated urns are absolutely fantastic. Also using a portable crafter allows you to have the chance of saving some soft clay. Soft clay is kind of expensive right now, so it's good whenever you save that. Oh, 90 fire making. That's the second 90 on the free to play. Very nice. I was just doing some fire making in between all of the crafting whenever the crafter was down. 66 crafting making these urns. I've nearly made all of the strong mining urns unfinished and then we need to fire them all. Whenever there's a portable crafter up, this is what I'm doing. And like I said, I'm just doing fire making in between. I wanted to get a cremation perk. You can get it from ghosts. Revenants in the worldy are ghosts, but I'm quite a low combat. Also, being free to play, you can't have the bracelet that makes them not aggro you. This means they all aggro me because I'm a low level. I get hit up by all of them and there's just way too much damage going out. Can't survive it. So that means I'm not going to do Revenants. Maybe when I'm a higher level, I'll do them for a bit of money for Corrupted Dragon and stuff. But now I can't do them. So instead of Revenants, I'm going to go kill the Ghosts in the Stronghold of Player Safety. I can kill the Ankus as well, but they're a little bit harder. So I'm going to kill the Ghosts, time how long it takes me killing these Ghosts, and see how dry I go on this perk. It's going to be quite interesting. Let's see if I can get 50 attack in the same time and get a rune two-hander. That will definitely speed it up if I can get that far, if I haven't got it by then. That is my first inventory of food. We are 37 minutes in. So let's go bank, get another inventory and come back. One hour 17 in and still no ability. I don't know how long it's going to take. We'll just have to see. Let's keep going. I'm going to keep here as long as it takes. Oh, it's starting to feel a little bit bad. Two hours, eight minutes, and uh, yeah, we don't have it yet. Hopefully we can get it soon. We are 49 attack now, so we've nearly got that rune two-hander. There is 50 attack for the rune two H, although I probably should have brought it with me because now I have to go bank again. But hey, I'm sure it'll be worth it. Yep. This rune two-hander is awesome. It literally two shots like every time. It's so much more consistent. And I can train my strength up while killing the ghosts now. Look at those two hits every time the ghosts just flop. Feels good, man. Nearly two and a half hours in. Let's get this ability. Also, reason why I'm using Legacy is it's just a bit more consistent to hit these ghosts. And it's actually a little bit faster. Hey, we finally got it. Okay, right. 2 hours and 38 minutes and we got the ability. Yes! Oh, that's, that feels good. I thought I was going to go a lot more dry and I thought it was going to be a huge meme. But the meme is dead. Feels good, man. Let's go and test it out. Yes! Gonna buy 1,500 dragon bones and see how much XP that gives me. I think it's 1,500 bones an hour. So if we buy this, this will cover a whole hour worth of training and we can see how much we spend on it and how much XP we get. Ah, uh, no, <laughs> really. Ah, uh, we can't light the bones on the fire in Yeti Town. So no consistent fire for us. Guess we're going to go head over to World Free Combat Academy and use the fires there and hope that we can use a brazier sometime. There's no brazier here right now, and there sometimes is one, there sometimes isn't. It's hard to find a consistent brazier in free to play because we don't have the shanty pass on World 100. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to use the fires that are always put here to train fire making and stuff by people. So I don't have to make the fires myself, I can just use them, chuck the bones on there, get the XP, and if I see a brazier, I'll use that. 
Man, that's kind of a funny animation. You actually chuck the bones onto the fire as well. It's not a log in your hand, it's literally bones. Never noticed that. Hey, there's a portable brasher and you can right click it, configure it so you can add the bones on left click. Man, that's easy. Brasiers make this so much better, that's insane. Okay, so we managed to get 91 fire making alongside 60 prayer so far. We might be able to get 1,500 bones done in this hour, and that would be really epic, hopefully. So our experience an hour there is 270k experience an hour, 270k prayer, and on top of the prayer, we also got 234k fire making. 270k prayer to 34k fire making. 61 prayer, 91 fire making. Okay, so the bonus cost us 2.8 mil, and we got 270k experience. Just over 10 GP and XP. Not bad. 10 GP and XP while getting 270k experience an hour in free to play. It's not bad at all. I'll take that. Uh, it could be so much worse. So on top of that, you get the fire making XP of 234k as well. And that's not included in the GP per XP. That's just the prayer XP that we were getting. So we'll get 99 fire making at the same time and save a little bit of money there. It's pretty good. We are nearly done with our urns. We've got a crafter here. We took our break to do cremation and stuff, but because the crafter's here, we're doing the rest of the mining urns. We'll see how much one of the strong mining urns sells for and just see the profit per hour. I'll give you guys a little bit of a breakdown when we get there, but I'm gonna keep the mining urns to use myself as I do need to do some mining soon in order to make money to continue stocking up my fletching supplies as I'm getting fairly low on them. The urns insta sold at 2,000 each, which is less than I expected. This means the urns would be around 400 to 500k GP an hour. That's not bad, but it's nothing to write home about, sadly. There is 93 fletching, and now let's check out that tab of all my fletching supplies so far. Looking at my fletching supplies, you can see exactly what I've done so far. We have 5,400 more magic logs. We have 13,580 unstrung shield bows, and just under 20k bowstrings to add to all of the bows at the end. We've made 10,500 short bows and 11,500 shield bows. We're going to continue making shield bows for the rest of the levels to 99. And I want to stock up on every single shield bow and short bow that I made from level 80 to 99. We can work out the profit per shield bow, profit per short bow and stuff. And we can work out how much money I actually made for 99. So we can make a bit of a tab. So I'm looking forward to seeing how much money I can make for 99 fletching. And that's the tab so far. My stats are on screen now, and that is the end of episode 5. We're nearly 1,100 total level, which is insane. Some big, big gains in today's episode. Gonna try and aim for some nice mining levels for GP, and maybe even 99 fletching by the end of next episode. Then I can showcase just how much money fletching made me. Very excited for that. Do give the video a like if you did enjoy, and until next time, see ya.